Hello everybody, it's me, Prometheum Gamer, playing Sister Location once again. So, anyway, I watched Markiplier play some of it to figure out what I was doing wrong. And I did, I didn't go much further than, I didn't go any further than where I was. Uh, but I didn't see anything further than where I was. Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation. But I think I know well, choices how and self messing up on past last mistakes. time. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, my please name select is a Mike. new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, pressed. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing, Angsty Teen. But anyway, yeah, I think I do know what I was messing up on. Um, I will. I also uh, recently just purchased KC Animatronics, so I will be playing that. I'll probably do a live stream on Halloween. Uh, maybe not, if I'm correct, maybe the 30th, or the 29th, I know that on the 31st though, uh, since that's a Monday, I do have school, so I don't know if I'd be able to do a 24-hour live stream, I could probably do that some other day before that, to get you guys revved up the for Halloween. Stopped. You know the routine, you get up now, or whatever, stay here if you want. But, um, yeah, I'll be so, playing Casey and the funny story, a dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so, not that funny, but it's a story. But, uh, yeah, anyway, you'll... Let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. That is probably the creepiest thing. Is that when you're in this area, you've got these two heads, and their eyes are blinking. That was just like really weird, and then you got, you know. I don't want to check on Ballora. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. But anyway, that, I will do that as soon as I can. Hopefully I can finish this night. I... Well, let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. I will, uh be doing more videos Great. on Skyrim soon Great. enough. Great. There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. I know I've got a I've got a video already made. I just haven't posted it yet. Um that'll probably come out after this video. Um I I'm having a bit of trouble trying to like I already post on Facebook. Uh you shouldn't be expecting a video every day, but I'm trying to release them as quickly as possible. We but like I said uh in my last video Circus Baby that I do have college classes. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Ugh. Oh, Circus Baby, we aren't here to play hide-and-seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart.
motion trigger, entryway vent. Funtime Auditorium maintenance vent opened. Bulimar Gallery maintenance vent opened. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Willingly. Maybe curiosity. Maybe ignorance. There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. You forgot one thing, though. You can also have insanity. Usually people who are really nice will do something like this. So as I watched Markiplier do it, um, he kept his mouse hovered over the metal plate. Which is one thing I was not doing the last time. I'm going to try to also keep from making eye contact. Ooh. Ooh. That was an eye. I don't like eyes. You know, I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm expecting a female voice saying, is it someone new? You know, kind of like from Bioshock. I mean, that's, that's what I feel like this scenario is like. That, feel, that helplessness and being so close to death. Hopefully I survive night two. Like the Marky Moo. Also, it's kind of really hard to see my computer monitor at this moment. Because I'm sitting in front of a uh, window. No. Oh, thank God. That's right, you go away. When your guide comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, Go slowly. She cannot see you and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait and be still. Thank you for your patience. It seems that the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. So my only question here is, who is the voice? Not, not the male voice, but the female voice, because they know just about everything. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent.
feel like I should be wearing headphones. Right about now. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended oh, I didn't to notice those to reach vents. the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. I didn't actually notice that those other vents. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. I have no idea. That's the first time I've seen her pass by. Uh, this is kind of scary. Oh. 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 That was more terrifying than I expected. Oh, goodness. That's actually kind you of... You will now be required to crawl through the Bavora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. I didn't expect it to be that hard. I mean, I expect a degree of difficulty. It's kind of hard for me to hear her music.
It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. That's too close. Thank God. Motion trigger breaker room. Oh goodness. You may now interface with the breaker control. I don't want to see that. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. I, I don't understand this. I really hate how Freddy is just right there. Jeez. It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. You must be hearing things, silly. <laughs> Freddy, go away. I'm not waiting for Freddy. Where is Freddy? It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. You must be hearing things, silly. 
No one in their right mind would want to be in this situation. I guess that must be baby. Really it's her voice anyway. When she's online and active. I guess she's in charge of the whole crew. Of uh Pretty. Great job. This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Terrific. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more 
happening now? Clara, the baby is in fine. It is, Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paycheck. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't eat paychecks. You work the graveyard shift at the Friday Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heart break end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long-lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. I like me some popcorn. Alright, let's try night three. Let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad, it seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. My descent into madness? Because this is insane. No right person in the right mind would do this. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Uh. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Yeah! It, is. it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Let's see what happens. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. How much you want to bet? I don't know how to make it through the night. I just want to hide under the desk forever. No more. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me, 
others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? That's interesting. There was a girl. Motion trigger. Circus gallery event. And on Steam, Scott said in the description that it had nothing to do with the lore. Or at least that's how I took it. I could be. What the F? But look at the face on it. It looks almost like the puppet. Could it be that spot? Maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. God. I wasn't sure if I knew what I saw. But I, for Christ, I saw a white hand. Quite possibly Foxy. I think I'm going to end it there. I've already had two jump scares. Kind of terrifying from both. So, I think I'm done for this episode. Um, hearing what she had to say was very interesting. And it was kind of Neat how that little ballerina appeared right there 
with a face that looks similar to the puppet from the previous games. And I'm wondering who what animatronic is the does this voice belong to? And that is one thing I'm really I really wanna know. And um uh it would be really cool if, uh, I don't know, maybe Matt Pat from Game Theory would do a theory over it. But, you know, you never know what he'll do. Anyway, uh, remember, I'll be doing Case Animatronics live stream. That could happen. That may not happen. Uh, but it'll, more than likely, those videos will be up before Halloween, if not on Halloween. And I will probably do one giant continuous episode. God knows how long it's going to be. Um, I have watched... Mm, excuse me. I've watched Markiplier play it. Um, I really don't remember much from it. But I'd love to see some animations of it, though. But I don't remember anything from it, so it won't... I'm not... I 100% sure what to expect. Uh, all I know is that how what the gameplay is like, and it looks pretty terrifying. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my featured channels list. Those channels have got some really awesome content there. Uh, I will be releasing more of these soon. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!